Christ is coming back soon. We are living in the end times. Everything that you're seeing now, all these diseases, all the natural disasters, the fires, coronavirus, it's not by accident. We are living in the end times right now. And there is no other cure but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one who can save you. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. The mask will not save you. Hand sanitizer is not going to save you. Because at the end of the day, you're afraid of these things. You're afraid of these diseases because you know what's going to happen after death. You know that there is judgment after death. If you truly believe there's nothing after death, why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid of dying if you don't think anything happens? Amen. Why are you panicking running around by toilet paper? Why are you panicking with your hand sanitizer and mask? Because you know you're going to die. You know there is a life after death. You know you will stand before a just God. You're being judged. Get right with God. We are not afraid of this virus because we know God. We know where we're going to go. We know that when we die, when we leave this earth, we're going to be with our Savior and King Jesus Christ. We're not afraid. We're not wearing masks. We're not using hand sanitizer every five minutes because we're not afraid. We know where we're going to go. We know that the promises of God are true. Because God promises us eternal life. Amen. And He says in this word that those who seek to save their life shall lose it. But those who lose their life for the glory of our God and Savior Jesus Christ, for the glory of His kingdom, they will find life and life more abundantly. My friends, Turn away from your sins and repent, repent, pray to God, pray that He will reveal Himself to you. So many people that I see around me, so many people turn to alcohol, so many of you turn to drugs, so many of you turn to fornication, to all these things, so many of you take drugs and go to strip clubs, that's not going to fill the void. It's not going to fill the void, only Jesus Christ can fill that. When you drink alcohol, when you take drugs, when you fornicate, you still feel empty inside and you know it. Only Jesus Christ can fill that void. I was there. I used to smoke. I used to, I used to drink alcohol. I used to fornicate. I used to do all these things. And it did not make me happy. There was still something missing. Because deep inside, we need God. God created us with a desire for Him. And when you say you have no faith, that is not true. Even, even, even atheism requires faith. When you're an atheist, it requires faith and there is no God. All these who say you believe that the world just came through by evolution or Big Bang, you have faith. When you say that this universe was created out of nothing, by nothing into everything, you have faith in that nothing. You put your whole faith in that nothing. Let me tell you, my friends, this world did not come by nothing. This universe did not come out of nothing. It was created by God. When you look at your shoes or these buildings or your watch, you know that it was created. It was created. It did not just come out of nowhere. It did not just randomly fall into place by some accident. So how much more our brain or the universe? You think it just fell out of nowhere? You think it just fell into place by itself? If a watch cannot fall into place by itself, it has to be created. How much more our brains? How much more our universe? If this earth was even a few meters closer to the sun, we would all die. That is planning. That is design. How can you guys say there is no God? How can you guys say I am my own God? No, there is a God and His name is Jesus Christ. He's the only one who can save you. You will not find peace in alcohol. You will not find peace in drugs. You will not find peace in girlfriends or boyfriends. You will not find peace in these things. You will only find peace in God. Only Jesus Christ. And He's the only one that can save you. He's the only one that is alive. Nothing else can save Religion cannot save you. You can pray 10, 20 times a day. It's not going to save you. Only Jesus Christ can save you through His grace. For He died on the cross for us. I'm telling you today, 
I love you guys. I'm not saying it is to annoy you. I'm saying it because I love you. If your house was burning on fire, I would warn you. I'm not just going to say, just go back in there, do what you want, live your life. It's okay, go back in the house. No, I'm not going to let you go with that fire. Say it right here. I'm not just going to let you perish with your sins. I'm not just going to let you go to hell. I'm going to tell you the truth. That Jesus Christ can set you free. He can save you. No one else can save you. Buddha can't save you. Allah can't save you. Muhammad can't save you. They're all dead. Preach it. Only Jesus Christ Preach it. Is alive. Preach it. Only Jesus Christ can save you. He's the only one that rose from the dead. Preach it. Allah can save you. Can not save you. Muhammad can't save you. Buddha, yes. none of them can save you. Preach it. They're all on the grave. Preach. Only Jesus Christ rose from Holy the Jesus. dead. Holy Jesus. Only Jesus. Preach. And I say this in faith. I know Jesus Christ. I had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You guys have no idea what I've been through, but Jesus Christ brought me out of it. The amount of abuse, the amount of neglect I've been through my whole life. But Jesus Christ set me free. I used to have crippling anxiety. I used to have crippling depression. I used to have PTSD from being abused by my parents. But as soon as I came to Jesus Christ, He set me free. Amen. All depression, it ran away from me. Anxiety, it ran away from me. And I stand here right now, confident. And I testify right now on behalf of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My God. No one else can save you. Amen. No medicine can save you. If you're depressed, don't go and take pills. These pills will make you feel worse. Go read the Bible. Read the Bible where it says that Jesus Christ will set you free. Amen. Because only Jesus can save you. None of these pills, they can't save you. None of these masks can save you. This coronavirus, it, it, it's not just some random virus that pops out of nowhere. It was man-made. It was man-made. In the book written in 1981, they predicted this virus coming into place in 2020 because they planned it. They planned it. It's part of the end times. It's part of revelation. You guys, do not be fooled. Do not be fooled by these false vaccines. Do not be fooled by this mass hysteria, by this fear tactics. They will try and force these vaccines on you. They will try and quarantine you. They will try and make you stay in your house. They will try and lock everyone up. They will take away our freedom. But it's a lie. This virus is not even that bad. It is a fear tactic. They are using it to lock you guys up, to quarantine you, to put fear in your hearts. Then they can tell you, no more cash, because there's bacteria on cash. We're going to go cashless. We're going to implement a chip in your right hand. Which, by the way, if a relation is the mark of the beast. You think they're not going to do that? They will do that. They're about to quarantine this whole city. Guys, believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. He loves you. It doesn't matter what you've done in your past. It doesn't matter what kind of lies you told. It doesn't matter if you stole. It doesn't matter if you hurt people in the past. God can forgive that. Even if you're a rapist, if you're a murderer, if you rape children, God can still forgive you. Because He's a God of mercy. He's a God of grace. He will have mercy on you if you repent, if you ask Him for forgiveness. It does not matter what you've done in your past. Just go on your knees and ask God for forgiveness and He will forgive you. It says in His words, He will no longer remember your sins. It will be as if this could never happen. It will be completely white. He will not remember that. But only if you repent. Do not die in your sins. If you continue to sin, if you do not repent, if you continue to live in your flesh, you will go to hell. Yes. Volume is gone. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Volume is gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Gonna, gonna have yeah. to shout. Yes. Shout a little bit. Just a little you bit. You guys, if you keep living in your sin without repenting, you will go to hell. Hellfire is what awaits you unless you turn to Jesus Christ, unless you repent. Repentance is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only way. If you do not accept Jesus Christ, you will burn for eternity. You will be condemned for eternity. Only Jesus Christ can save you. He can set you free. 
He can give you eternal life. Yes. He can give you the desires of your heart. He will give you what you need. He will give you what you want. It says in his word that he will be back and he is coming back soon. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. I do not know the day or the hour, but he is coming back. And it says in this words that everyone will rise from the dead and be sent to either eternal condemnation or eternal life. Those that love Jesus, those that follow Jesus, they will be sent to life for eternity with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Those that did not, those that reject Jesus Christ, they will be sent to eternal damnation and hell, eternal suffering, eternal separation from God. I'm here to warn you guys because I love you. I did not Power. come here for fun. I could be at home sitting watching Netflix. I could be at home with my daughter sleeping. I come out here to warn you guys that Jesus Christ is coming soon. We are living in the end times. All of these viruses, they're not just not here for nothing. All of these diseases, all of these calamities, those natural disasters, they're just not here by coincidence, by accident. Judgment is coming on this world. Yes. The, we are in the end times. We are about to start the Great Tribulation. Guys, read your Bibles. Read Revelation. Everything that's happening now has been prophesied thousands of years ago. You're not be fooled by this world. You're not be fooled into thinking it's some coincidence mm. that there is no God and it, it, the, the government loves us. No, the government is not there to protect us. The government does not want to protect us. It wants to depopulate this earth. Yes. That's the whole agenda. The population. That's the whole agenda behind these vaccines. They're not here to protect you. They're here to kill you. What will happen very soon is when you don't take that vaccine, they will imprison you. Even now, they're saying to anyone for the coronavirus, it goes outside, they'll put you in prison, they'll arrest you. Very soon, it will escalate. It will escalate further. If you do not take this vaccine, you will be killed. If you do not take the mark of the beast, you will be beheaded. Mm. Do not take the mark of the beast. Yes. God bless you guys. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen.